Hello, and welcome back to the channel. The topic of today's video will be about a unique piece of lab equipment known as the Soxalate Extractor. The Soxalate Extractor was invented by a German agricultural scientist by the name of Franz von Soxalate in 1879. In today's demonstration, we will produce a tincture using the Soxalate Extractor, some ethanol, and some wild turkey tail mushrooms. The materials required for today's demonstration will be 100% or 95% ethanol, an extraction medium, and of course, the Soxalate Extractor. To begin, I add 150 milliliters of anhydrous ethanol to a flat bottom flask. Next, I attach the Soxal extractor. I then insert a cotton ball into the bottom to prevent the extractor from clogging. Before we fill the extractor, it is essential that we process our medium. You're going to want a coarse chop over a fine powder. As the finer the material is, the higher the likelihood of it clogging the extractor. Once satisfied with the results, the material is then added to the Soxalate extractor. Next, I insert an adapter for the condenser. Then I attach the condenser. I then affix both of the water feed lines. Next, the water pump is turned on. Then stirring and heating is turned on. The temperature will be dependent on which solvent you use. After about 15 minutes or so, the first extraction cycle was complete. As seen here, once the solvent level reaches a certain point, everything is very aggressively drained and the whole cycle repeats. Now how a soxalate extractor works is actually quite simple. As your solvent is boiling, the hot solvent will travel up the arm located on the right side, go up the condenser, recondense, drop over the extraction medium, fill up the chamber, then the chamber drains and the whole cycle repeats. After about six hours of extraction, I then set up for a vacuum distillation. I chose vacuum over simple distillation because I was not sure if any of the compounds within the mushrooms were temperature sensitive and I did not want to destroy any of the compounds. I then collected a majority of the remaining ethanol until I was left with about approximately 30 to 45 milliliters. Then I let the flask cool off. 
Then the remaining contents was transferred to an amber glass bottle and kept in a cool, dark place. If you have any suggestions for a future video, please leave them in the comments below. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.